Since Meta has released this Llama 3 model three days ago, things have become quite exciting. The reason why I'm covering Llama 3 so much on my channel is that not only it is a very performant model, but its outreach is quite wide. The size of the model is small, as you can see on your screen. I'm just talking about 8 billion parameter model here. And in GB, the size is just around 15 gig. But still, it has a lot of options, lot of knowledge, and its response quality is very high. I have covered in great detail about its various features, its architecture, and lot of other stuff. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install this new fine-tuned version of Llama 3, which enhances its capabilities towards function calling and JSON mode. Function calling is one of the cornerstone through which our LLM applications can access external real-time data. If you want to check the weather, you want to check the stock prices, you want to do a real-time web search or whatever, or for example, you want to integrate it in real-time with your external APIs. Function calling enables you to do just that. In Llama 3, this function calling capability is of extremely supreme quality and you can do it with a very very easy way. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do that in a very efficient way in on your local system. Let me take you to my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB and you would need at least 15 to 20 GB in order to download this new model. Let me clear my screen. Also make sure that you have the latest version of Transformers installed. If you don't, just simply do pip install transformers and dash upgrade. It's going to upgrade your existing transformer installation. I already have it. Let me clear my screen and launch my Python interpreter. Let's first import the tokenizer and my auto model for causal LM plus the PyTorch library that is also already done. Let's specify this fine-tuned version of this Llama 3 and then let's specify the tokenizer 2. That is done. And now let's download the model. As I already have downloaded it, so it will be quick. It will only load the shards on my GPU. But if you are doing it first time, it is going to take a bit of a time while it uh, downloads all the tensors. Let's specify the message template for this model. It is simple. Um, system message that I'm telling it that you're a helpful assistant answer in JSON with key. Let's pass these text to our input. So first I'm going to show you a vanilla response and then we will do the function calling. So I'm just passing these messages to this tokenizer. Let's now put it in our model to generate the output. Okay, sorry, I need to put the terminators here. I'm doing it real time, so please forgive this error. Terminator is simply a new sort of token which we put in for the Llama 3. You can see that it is end of turn ID or EOT. So that is done. Let me put it again to the model. This time it works. Let's wait for it to come back. You see how quick that is. Let's print out the response. There you go. So message is, I am a helpful assistant, I can answer question and provide information on various topics. Now, let's create a function and then I'll show you what function means. So if you look at it, this is a function metadata. A very typical JSON dictionary where we are specifying that type is function, function name is get temperature, just give it description of your choice. And these are the parameters that object, properties, that city and string. So this function is used to get a temperature of city. Now this is just a boilerplate. So you can define any function of your choice. So all you need to do is do in a proper JSON format that is done. And now let's pass it message again, which primarily contains this function. So this is a message, bit cryptic, but let's read it. So first system message, which we already have given it. And we are telling it that you are a helpful assistant with access to the following functions and the function which we have just created above. You can of course create a function of your own. And then we are telling it that to use this function respond with 
the function call and function name argument the thing which we have passed above argument this value one and then multiple arguments and then the user assistant goes in we are passing the city tokyo let's press enter and now let's give this input to the tokenizer that is done let's put our terminator token so it won't go into the loop and now let's send it to the model to generate the output that is done and we are just setting some of the hyperparameters and let's print out the response so you see it has given us the current temperature in tokyo is 30 degrees of course we have specified it but as i said this is just a boilerplate function call you can simply replace it with your own function calls you can embed or integrate it in any tool of your choice and this is the beauty of this llama 3 that if you have watched my previous videos where i have shown you that you can get it installed on windows linux mac or wherever you like plus it is very responsible it's very ethical we have already seen in few videos that its prose is of very very high quality very high quality plus it can do a lot of things in terms of coding it can repair the code it can fix the code it can optimize the code it can generate the code in various languages C, C++, java python and various others plus it is a very safe and secure model it's a very responsible model and dare i say that it is a very very flexible model you just saw that we can do a lot of function calling with it I just did another video just an hour ago where I showed you how you can do even voice chat with it. I mean, how good is that? You can do transcriptions with it. So in my opinion, if you're looking for a model to be deployed in your company at an enterprise level in production environment, where you could be rest assured that model is safe, model is responsible, model has all, all the guardrails, then I would highly suggest you should look at Llama 3. If you're looking for a smaller model, go with Llama 3 8 billion. But if you have the resources, then definitely at an enterprise level, I would highly suggest go with Llama 70 billion. But if you have even more bandwidth capacity, just wait. Meta is going to release Llama 400 billion plus model very soon. And if you can't host it, you can even access it through meta.ai or you can get the API from um through api through from together ai or from hugging face and there are a lot of options now which are quite cheaper too anyway you can see that i can go on and on with the presence of llama 3 and really hats off to this creator let's also check its hugging face where uh, you can see some of the benchmarks no it has an e and by the way he has used unslock which is one of my favorite tool for fine tuning so this is the person so you ngo sorry i can't pronounce your name but you know stellar work or some hats off thank you very much so let's put a heart here once i need to log in but anyway i will drop the link to his model in video description try it out let me know how it goes if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching